It was asked if there was a way to improve the research speed or anything like that, and it looks like for the time being it just sort of is what it is. I could see maybe later on if there's a slider you could dump a lot of money into it, and then that way if there is simulated competition you could go for like, oh, I'm be one of the first people with alcohol license, and you, you put in a ton of money for research to be one of the first ones to do that, and you take advantage of a early boost of sales while everybody else is doing like night hours or something like that. Not really sure what the end goal is for this game, but uh, I don't know. We'll just uh, we'll wait out and see, I suppose. Do definitely need to. Yeah, definitely need to be building this out. Um, this area, not really sure what I'm going to do with it for now. I would like to have a maybe a restaurant type thing. This whole thing might turn into a restaurant one day. I'm not really sure. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it. For now, I think I'm happy with it, maybe. I don't know, can't tell. And then, no, assign, store, extend that out. That's bot two. And then, I guess, I mean, I guess if I continue on the wall like that, maybe the backing wall here. I guess for now it could just be its own little room area. I don't know. And then checkout counters. Yeah, just like that. And I could even probably uh, angle them like that so you get like one row like that and then an offset row. Could probably do that, but I think I'll. Uh, I think I'm alright with what we've got for now. I quite like those coolers being there, although that's probably going to have to move at some point. Yeah, I don't, I don't really want to do that. That'll look really odd. That's all locked. All this stuff is for stuff that we can't do yet. The vending machine's down there, the ATM's down there. I don't know if people can actually access those or not. From what I can tell, there really is no way to rotate things. I I double checked alphanumeric characters and I'm pretty sure I didn't miss any. I think that's just, you simply cannot yet. So for here, I guess just. Uh, <laughs> I guess a couple more fridges and we'll just put more of the same in there. The game says not to duplicate that stuff, but what's the worst that could happen? Also, I think we do get shoplifters every now and again. I think while editing, I saw a dude with a wicked afro. Just like, he was here shopping, and then he just took off with the basket. Come back! I'm pretty sure that happened. And I think that might just be because we don't have enough cashiers. So, we could certainly do that. Uh, manage, manage store, staff, hire more cashiers. We can have up to five. So we'll go for... Really don't think it much matters. I mean, speed is walking speed of all characters. Also determines customers' checkout time if they're a customer. This is just customer satisfaction while queuing. This is... I think social ability is probably the most important for a cashier. Speed, I don't think, really does anything for them. Because that's a customer's checkout time. Might be wrong, it might just be worded oddly, but definitely social ability, so I suppose we'll go for Laura Frederick. Elisa Garner. These are stock clerks. Oh god. Okay. I, okay, I did it right. <laughs> Most clerks! And you're apparently a good cashier, so we'll go for you. Okay, so three more cashiers. We'll keep it on times two speed. You, we can have up to five. I also need to assign those coolers at some point. We don't need anybody coming in super late because we don't need anybody in that early. So we'll go for... I guess coming in at two in the morning? Jesus. Is trying to get at least four through most of the day. 
This really is kind of difficult to read sometimes. Like, I don't know exactly. Like, for you to be coming in at 2 is... That's kind of ridiculous. That that seems like way early. So we come in at 6 is when we're open. So for a little while, we don't have anybody. And that's fine. We don't need anybody. We got you coming in really late, so we'll scoot you back a bit. So we got f five people during peak hours. Another person, like, really late would be good. If I have you come in a little later. Hmm. We'll see if this is okay. We, we have, we have at least one, it looks like possibly about two people for the most part late at night. I think that'll be okay. And it looks like with just the one, one stock guy, we, we're doing pretty good with that. I think, I think. And this can be just like more juice and this could be more water or something, I don't know. Water at checkout though, I don't know. Let's turn that over to soda. I mean, it seems smoother. We'll speed it up a little more. It seems better. I mean, we got over 200 sales today. What was the objectives? 2,000 daily profit. Uh, getting there, kind of, sort of. We're at 1,500-ish. That'll be coming pretty shortly. 100 customers. Uh, 2,000 total sales. So we'll be getting that over time. And 30 different types of products. Can't quite do that yet. We're currently researching cold chain, which will help out a lot. That'll be a lot of fresh stuff. And that might be what I throw back in this general area here. So if I go build and we'll build walls. Depends how much space it all takes up really, but we'll go with like just that. So it's sort of its own sectioned off area, I guess. And then we'll be moving these shelves out of there. These are just standard shelves up there. Four, and then I guess five and six. Uh, I mean, if I could rotate, it'd be a lot nicer. And then that'll just be these things. Research is done on cold chain, so now we will do a default to the liquor license would be a really cool, which would be a great thing. But honestly, I'm thinking kind of, kind of thinking night hours, but they really want fast food. Like they really want fast food. Connection of an additional road entrance, an additional additional road, road entrance, and then an additional 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 road entrance. Nick is needs, yeah, they really want fast food. Fast food is what they want. Fast food, I don't think it can necessarily do, but it could go with just restaurants. Is that, oh yeah, unlocks fast food, yeah, that's what we want. That's what they want most, so we'll, we'll do that. Night hours would be a really good thing to get at some point too, but we'll wait it out for that. So keeping in mind, we started with $200,000. We've been building a lot. I also got kind of an early janitor going. Surprisingly busy at 10 in the morning. Well, this guy came in at like just the right time. Though we got an additional person here midday. I think we're doing all right. So we'll keep this on times two speed. Pads, tampons. Uh, well, actually, if I just remove these. Remove walls and objects. There, you will get rid of those, and then I can see what we need here. I don't think that updated. Oh. Um. <laughs> that didn't update. We'll go with, uh... Not sure I like having shelves right there. We'll go diapers. Okay, now it updated. 
I had to actually assign something to a shelf to sort of refresh everything, so it would do a total recount across the uh, across the store, and then just bed sheets and car tools, and then just generic toys. Eh. Mm. Objects. We can now do fresh stuff. And by that, I don't know precisely what we're looking at for that. Would that just be the, is that just fridge stuff? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just fridge stuff. Nice. Fast builder is so good. Dairy. Fresh meat. Fresh fish. Yay! I think we're still making money. I just, I lose a lot of money because I've been really expanding out the building and then the parking lot and then hiring the janitor and building the restrooms and all that. And I think that's what's going on there. If I click that, we'll actually, uh, Tell me precisely what it is. Net profit. Net profit's going up. And then it can add a second graph. Uh, and a third graph. Oh, that's nice. So our customers are going up. Unsatisfied customers. Uh, we had just like a bit a little while ago. And I think that was before we... You know, that's last eight days scope. So this would be... That's about two days ago it was. Roughly. We had a lot of customers, that's the most customers we've ever had, and we had a couple unsatisfied, so it's probably just the cashiers being bogged down. I don't think I have to worry about it too much. Speed it up a bit more. Yeah, not a lot of people this late. Everything's being stocked okay. Now we're closed. They're out of there. Stocking. We're totally on top of it. Like, that is no problem at all. Auto margins already set for all these. Expires in 180. Ah, that makes sense. Expirations on stuff. And then these, yeah. A lot of hours. That makes sense. Sliced bread, 159 hours. Fullness 80%, 85%, 95%, 70%. 70%. I mean, it's generally full. Storage load is just how full the storage room itself gets. I mean, I guess we could bump it up to 85%. Why not? Oops. I don't think that affects these. I think that's just how full this room gets. Yeah, when shit gets busy, it sure does get busy. We're keeping the shelves somewhat full though, like even this guy. 45% fullness, it starts looking empty at half fullness. Yeah, it's already refilled, no problem. Hey, he's on top of it. Janitor keeping the entryway nice and clean, cashiers, none of them getting bogged down. I think we're looking pretty smooth. Not sure what the hell to do for the restaurant. That might be a separate building. I don't know. Because, I mean, there's a lot of map here, and then there's this stuff up here, but I can't use these yet. I have to unlock the entrance, unlock the entrance, unlock the entrance. And once you get those entrances unlocked and you have all that stuff, you can just do one giant mega mall. But for now, it'll have to be like a little, I don't know, I guess village type thing. A little shopping district with a bunch of different separated buildings. Are we satisfying needs okay? I guess. Damn near full up on toys. I 
effect. I think I'm reading this right. I'm not really sure. Should I display more soda? I have three on display. We're not getting that many sales. There's a lot of demand for it. I don't know. I, I don't think we're missing out on anything there. Fast food's like 200 demand. Working on it. was having considerations on having another storage area just like right here or something and then a doorway there for the frozen stuff but again I might turn this into uh I might turn this whole thing into a restaurant one day I'm not not entirely sure what even my end goal is with this building cuz I can remove bits and bobs of it I can add more to it it's not really a much of a problem but yeah you get here a bit earlier Sean Landry we can modify that a bit. Yeah, you get here like way early. Let's uh manage store. Sean Landry. Maybe get six people every now and again now. If you just come in later in the day. Yeah, I think you're like borderline extra. That's maybe the best we could do is have you come in at four. Otherwise, we need a six register. Ugh. I can't have that. I can't put in another register. It'll never fit. Maintenance center, storage is that. Uh, the actual store itself. That's the whole thing. Yeah, I think we're about as good as we can be here. Sixty-five percent profit margin. Salaries is getting kind of up there. I could probably do with one less cashier, and then my stockers. I'm not even sure what I got going on with their schedules. I not no idea. I think. Yeah, just the two of them. We just have one throughout the entire day. Across three people. I mean, it seems to be doing... Whoops. It seems to be doing... I keep hitting escape trying to clear everything, but you just hit E to go into select and do it. Learning curve, and I don't know if anybody's using this stuff. It's only a dollar a day, though, so... I uh, I can move them. This is ATM up there, and then a vending machine. Put a couple of them. And then remove those. Janitor. Janitor, there's shit everywhere. We have a bit of a break in janitors. I could go for another janitor. I could, I could. Well, they come in early enough, they'll be able to get it cleaned. I think we're okay, actually. We don't really need one overnight. Not yet, at least. Yeah, because he's in there, and by the time he's done, we'll be all set. And then there's the guy coming into work. Bang. And we open at 6, so he's still here a little earlier, but if I move him in later, then we'll have a 6 person sometimes, and, uh... Not bad. I think we're going pretty smoothly. It's just I'm spending a lot of money. But we are profiting. Four more different types of products we'll be able to... Get 10 grand for that. A daily profit, we're almost there. 2,000 total sales, we're almost there as well. Sales are... We're getting about 200 pretty steadily. So we'll be getting that in two days. 100 customers is going to be rough. We'll definitely have to have, like, a couple restaurants for that, I think. That'll be a bit of a trick. Let's see what I can do, though. 
And that's all for 10 grand, which doesn't seem like much, but I started with uh, $200,000. The other alternative is starting with 50,000, which is a much more reasonable amount. So really 10 grand bonus is, uh, that's pretty significant. Starting with 200,000 and they have fast builders on, so really you probably want to have a second builder on site, depending. And if you really want to be good at it, you could just have no builders on site and then it's just like, oh, I'm going to build on. And then for just like a span of a day or two, you hire the, the builders up front, do the building, then get rid of them afterwards. So you sort of contract them, I suppose. Not bad, though. I enjoy this game. This is a fun game. It's uh, very laid back, though. A lot of sort of micromanaging a bit and trying to like min max a little bit but it's pretty easy for now i think if there is a simulated competition to be significantly different because then you're you know oh my god we're losing customers suddenly who's doing what now and it's like oh my god these guys are selling this shit for like super duper cheap i can't compare it and you have to change tactic a bit or something or market i don't think there's any marketing in the game Just needs research finance, which is just loans. We're making money hand over fist. We are doing okay. That's what I'm after, research. Almost got it. Eight hours left. And research should be done any second now. Yeah, it's done. Okay, cool. Um, yep, there's a notification. So now, yeah, sure, we'll go with the uh, alcohol license. That's fine. Do a liquor store at some point. And now we can do... The order counter, fast food warmers, fast, so uh, fast food soda dispensers, fast food cooking ranges, food court tables, diner tables, restaurant tables. Okay, so we'll be building a second... No, not remove foundations, add foundations. We'll be building a second building for this, I think. Originally, I was just gonna add on to it, but... Mm, ah, still could. I have to move all the shelves and I have to really build up. I may as well just do a second building for now. So we'll do it, I don't know, over here. Actually, customer parking might need to be expended at some point. We can do it over here. Just like, I don't know, that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Didn't look like the stuff took up that much space. So I could do the uh, the cooking back here, and then just uh, dining area. And then this delivery spot, I am assuming will work for this as well. Objects first. The fast food warmer, I presume, goes on our end of things. I assume. I mean, fast food soda dispenser, usually the customer handles that, right? I guess we, I guess we could too. I don't know, fast food there, fast food warmer, the cooking range here, the order counter. Yeah, this all needs to go up here, I think. We'll put it all up there. Oh, oh, right, just right click to cancel. Objects. The cooking range. You can watch them cook your food, sort of. And then, I don't know, worst case, the customer will just like jump the counter and come back here, I guess, I don't know. Go two order counters. And then real cheap. Cheap shitty, right here. And then walls. We'll see about doing something like that, I suppose. Let's clear these out so there's more room for these people. Because this is 
I think that extended like down to here. That'll be all right. And then build. Uh, we need doors so they can actually get in here and do stuff. We'll, we'll continue time a bit. No reason to have it paused. The double door. Here. Staff door. We can throw this in the back. And there. I mean, right? I mean, do we just like... I don't know. We'll find out. Ah. Fresh stuff. We can throw some of these back here, too. Fresh fruit, veg, and bread. Nice. And that'll be the... That'll be one short for variety. God damn it. And I guess these people would have a bathroom too, I suppose. I guess. Foundations really doesn't need that much. These are pretty, uh, pretty small, but more in that direction than anything. Okay, speed it up a bit. Notice how much money we've spent on this already, about 50,000. Shit gets expensive. And then he took off for the day. Damn it. Fast food restaurant. Yep, all this. And manage the fast food restaurant. 9 to 17. We'll try it. A stack clerk for it. Uh, yeah, I guess that makes sense, doesn't it? So you can store like, basically like, I guess the freezer. So I'll make it a little bigger than that. And then the employee door here, that'll be the stock room. There you go, finishing that up. So bathroom, stock area. Staff door here. We need walls. We're getting there. And then just a standard door. And then the urinals and all that. Okay. 